This is the Anchor Prime power bank lineup. We have the 27,650 milliamp hour power bank with 250 watts of total output power, the 20,000 milliamp hour power bank with 200 watts of output power, and the 100 watts charging base. The finest tech with the newest features, we're talking extreme energy transfer rates. It is mind blowing. Fast charging in and out, multiple devices, you name it. The charge base, of course, has the newest GAN tech inside, keeping the footprint print super small and with it you can go wireless. Just put your power bank on it, 100 watts of charge speed, just incredible. The small one right here can deliver 100 watts over a single port and the bigger one 140 watts over a single port. And this one also comes with a great companion app. It is not needed necessarily but it's certainly great for all the techies out there that want to know all the insights and specifics. Compact, powerful and great value especially for what this lineup brings to the table. So yeah looks and sounds amazing right but is it actually that great? Well Let's find out. New drip. Got the new drip from Anchor, the Prime power bank lineup, two power banks and the 100 watts charge base. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. Yeah, now let's check it out. There we go. Look at those beautiful boxes. Anchor Prime fast charging. So let's check it out. So we have the details on this side right here. Let's check it out from the top. Just that. But on the bottom we also have tons of infos. Now from this side we have the compatibility. And lastly from the back. Multi-language quick overview. Yeah, and with that let's open up all these boxes. And they have these stickers right there that we need to remove. Also on this one. This one will fold out and we can pull it out just like that. And these right here, the bottom will come out. There we go. As you can see, all of them are further wrapped. Also with this, so that there are zero scratches. Let's get this one out as well. Wow, this one is looking beautiful, super shiny. And right there, we also have a note as you can see and they of course all have the charge contacts on the bottom right here and before we check them out in detail let's of course take a look at all the accessories that will come with these power banks Let's start with the charge station. First of all, we will of course get a cable for the wall socket. Nice long cable held together with a rubber ring. And we have the paperwork. We will get two adhesive tapes for fixing the base in place and also this. Next, we have the quick start guide. Right there, page two and the other side. And here we have the declaration of conformity as well as customer support and the socials. It's basically the same for the power banks. So the small stuff as well as the safety precautions, I will move this out of the way and get straight to the quick start guide. And right Right there, English to socials app and the last page how to use it. So we have this side right there with all these specs and the display trickle charge mode and right here for the smaller one and also the back side right there. We will also get cables. The large one comes with the white one, the smaller one with the black one in my case with the anchor branding and it says in both cases 140 watts max. Crazy strong cables and lastly we also get carrying pouches or rather traveling pouches that will keep them scratch free with the label right there and we can close them up like so and inserting the power banks will look like that and with this you can keep them pristine. So to recap the cables, the paperwork, the carrying pouches and the wall socket cable for the charge station. Done with the unboxing let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. One, two, and three. Now look at that. Absolutely luxury goods right there. They fit on the base magnetically. So check this out. That is awesome. So it will align itself and it will pop in place perfectly just like that again. Boom. The base has a super small footprint and wow, it feels valuable. Nice rubber feet great display and massive power and when it gets to the power banks they just look awesome super refined really cool button right there gold and gray or also looks kind of silver really nice builds right there love it so yeah let's take a close look so on the side we have the button 
looks like one of these iPhone home buttons. Great choice to say the least. Luxury on all fronts. We have the top right there, two times USB-C, one time USB-A with the best fast charging algorithms. Then we of course have the bottom right here. In case of the bigger one, we also have the speaker out so that you can ping it. And the last side is just blank. And these sidewalls look really nice. They have this milled look to them really cool oh yeah and we have four tiny feet on the bottom and this on the back right here designed by anchor innovations nicely rounded corners all the way around really a pleasing to the eye design to say the least and when it gets to the station it has the magnetic top with these retractable spring-loaded contacts really nice materials we have the shiny screen same goes for the power banks of course but yeah that's the front side goes without saying with the brand really nice we have the same lines and they have this sound to it right this scratching sound really like it and on the other side we have USB A and USB C times two and this on the back for powering it up and on the bottom we have four nice rubber feet and all the small print right there 100 watts Gantech and the stability is amazing it will move the whole table so yeah absolutely premium lineup right there not bad right so let's check out the app and then of course test them so here we go and first of all let's check out the base. All that you have to do is to plug it in and then the LED ring will flash and just like that it's ready. Oh and by the way the right USB-C is perfect for laptops that's the strongest output. The middle one is great for your small devices and the USB-A port is great for tablets or phones. Yeah now let's just put it down. Great flat cable by the way I like it and thanks to the rubber feet it's super stable. Yeah now this one is pretty low it's only at two percent and now let's place it on it and let's just watch it charge and as you will see in a second it will ramp up to 100 watts straight in no time incredible energy transfer rate in just one hour this whole power bank will be completely full the smaller one is at 71 percent so that's a okay and with the cable you can also of course charge other power banks you name it so let's see what will happen if we charge a second power bank with the base okay ramping up and as you can see they are now sharing the 100 watts pretty much doubling the charge time but the powerful usb port usb c port that is is easily strong enough even for power hungry laptops we will check that out in a bit and before we get to the power banks let's of course check out the app the publisher is Anchor. There are a lot of apps as you can see and it's this one with the lighting bolt. So let's open it up and cool startup animation right there. Allow it. And first of all, we can register for a new account, but we can also skip it. And just like that, we can add devices. But check this out. We have the home tab where we can create a system. We have the devices tab where we can add them and we have the profile. But for this, of course, we would need to log in or sign up of course. User manuals. This app is used for the large power stations as well but of course also for the smaller ones. So let's add a device, give it all the permissions and we have it right there even though I didn't even turn on the Bluetooth. Oh actually it's on. If you want to turn it on you have to press twice. Oh now I disabled it. Okay so that's the behavior but we will check it out in a bit. So double press and there we go. I will give it a refresh just in case and there of course we have it again. Let's skip and it is now scanning the power bank connecting to it and there we go. We can give it a name. I will name it Prime Goldar. Let's go. And we do have a new firmware so let's update it right now. A little bit of bug fixes and performance upgrade. 30% let's see where we are. 13. So we should be there in no time. So we have the real time charge rates right there total input total output that's interesting so we will get a little calculator so we can add a device for example a phone right there and we can give it a name iphone for example with a battery cap of 4500 milliamp hours and battery health should be at 90 percent that is an awesome detail right there so let's add it and now check this out currently we can charge the iphone 0.6 times and right here we can also add this to the device screen and here we also have the base led indicator that's awesome so we can switch it to the night mode right there as you can see it's now gone and we can also bring it back just like that and last but not least we can also ping the device it will sound an alert so check this out start finding and it will make a noise that's awesome let's pull it off for a second and see what will happen oh it's so fast the refresh will literally happen in real time and let's see if I charge it with another 
source. So it will look like this. Oh, by the way, that is my strong brick right there. 140 watts of input and it can take it. That is incredible, wow. And what will happen now? That is so cool. So port one will now grab 76 watts, pretty much split in half and the base will deliver 74. And with this, we have the recharge time down to 33 minutes. That is just incredible. One thing that there is to know about the base is, check this out, if you want to charge a phone while it's at the base, you will get this message. While it's placed on the base, you cannot extract power from it. But of course, when you move it off the base, then you can get the simultaneous in and out going. Down here, we have the real-time data in the form of graphs looking really nice and the total input is just mesmerizing, absolutely crazy. So great little app right there. And now we have all three ports utilized, tons of different options, but yeah, the app is great. And now let's check out the power banks. So let's start with the bigger one. And as you can see, the app is actually not needed because the display is gorgeous and will show you all the details as well. And I will now use this one to fast charge a phone. By the way, in just these few minutes, we charge it up all the way to 31%. And now we have a combined output power of just under 20 watts. So that's absolutely nothing for this piece of a power bank. And now let me show you the OS. So when you click one time, you can cycle through all the different screens. And with a double press, you can actually select what to do. So on the first screen, if you double press, you can activate the trickle charge, aka the slow charge. With this, you can charge your accessories without any issues and deactivate it, double press once more. Let's go to the Bluetooth. Again, press twice to disable it or to enable it. Let's move on. So right here, we have the configuration. I think I forgot to press save. So let's edit that and plus. And there we go, now. And now on this screen, one, two, we have the iPhone and we can see the charging time 1.3 times. And we even get the battery health of the power bank as well as the temperature. All right, and lastly, we have the auto screen timeout, 30 seconds, one minute, five minutes or 30 minutes. And with the double press, we can cycle through it and that's fine. And that's actually the last step, screen brightness, medium or high. So that's the medium one and high screen brightness looks like that right on and there we have it a super strong power bank with a great operating system a nice integrated menu and it's super easy to use let's move on to the smaller brother one click to activate it we are at 71 percent and just like the big one we can place it on the dock and charge it up with 100 watts and check this out it will detect it and ramp up and there we go 100 watts straight power in just 13 minutes it will be topped off once again let's see if we get the same error message yes so it cannot be used when it's getting recharged on the stand let's also plug in c2 and now let's also charge it up with c1 and let's check that out so as you can see the outgoing flows are always blue and the incoming ones are always green so when you're not charging other devices you can charge this power bank with 100 watts and that means it will be topped off in just 13 minutes still mind meltingly fast yeah power management kicks in and we'll get a safety throttling down to 65 watts okay but now let's of course charge three devices at the same time. I will move these around and I will now also charge my iPhone with the port number one. Let's see what we will get. So let's wait for the power management to catch up. So the iPhone with 27 watts, Apple devices just don't have this crazy fast charging rate. But in any case, looking very nice, three phones fast charging at the same time. It will last over one hour easily. And now let's check out the operating system. So we have the battery information, we have the health, the cycles and the current temperature. Then we also have the auto screen timeout. And this time not with a double press, but with two seconds hold time, we can enter or exit settings and now we can cycle through it right on and again two seconds holding it and there we go then we have the screen brightness it's already on high again two seconds of hold time then we can start to cycle and medium looks like this by the way and let's go back to high and confirm that with two seconds nice but what stayed the same is the trickle charge so double press to activate it and double press to deactivate it and again it's the screen what happened whoa how did i do that one two three oh when you 
unplug everything. So like this, you will just have the charge level right there. And the output power of even this small one is plenty to fast charge two laptops. So let's start with the MacBook right there on the C2 ramping up all the way to, I guess, over 50 at least. And let's get the second one into the mix as well. 50 and 60 watts. And it's still plenty for a phone and now check this out almost 130 watts of output power but as you know that's nothing that's barely half of what it can do extreme energy transfer and with this immense output power it will still last a good 30 minutes amazing so massive thumbs up from my side for the complete prime lineup the absolute best when it gets to power banks and fast charging equipment so as you saw, great looks, great build quality, great hardware. I love the concept, especially the base station. So if you're getting yourself into the prime game of power banks, then I would definitely recommend this charge base. It is super convenient just for recharging the power banks alone. But you will, of course, also get three high power USB ports on top. Great tabletop energy source, just amazing. And what's even better are of course the Prime power banks. Both of them have gorgeous little displays that will show you all the needed insights and the large one even comes with an app. And even in case you misplace it, you can ring it up to locate it. That is a smart device right there. Both of them enable crazy fast charging rates for all your devices. So multi-device charging and no problem whatsoever. Great safety features, great battery tech and the Prime lineup has many many more awesome devices to offer so make sure to check out their website and check out the complete lineup it's a full collection there is a lot and they all look amazing spacey and cool without a doubt great accessories to any tech setup yeah and all in all the whole prime lineup is a definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. I will list and link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one and show you then. I will see you soon.